Hello everyone, this is Honors at uh, Honors Funhouse YouTube and today as you guys can see I'm out here in the beautiful Alberta foothills in the mountains. I'm here with my friend Murray today from Three Body Videos and we are attempting the 2022 Cabin Fever Challenge. I will be attempting this challenge today with the 9mm rifle, uh, Tiny Tim is the nickname we gave it. And uh, if you guys want to see Murray's uh, attempt, don't feel, uh, don't hesitate to hit the link down below. I'll put it down there and you can visit his channel to see how he is performing with the SKS rifle. So without further ado, let's get to it. Kneeling. I'm in no rush here. That's a miss. And sitting on the home stretch. Yeah. Completely missed the carpet. <laughs> I promise I didn't do it. Ah. Anticipation. <sighs> Click. Well, uh, All right. Well, not so dirty. So clear. Pull the action back. Looks empty. Hold on. Mag out. All right. We're Let's clear. Time you got. Alrighty. Twenty shots counted in a time of one hundred thirty-one seconds. Point eight. That was a weird way to say that. I'll admit. Uh, Hold up. Let me check. It's a delay though. 6.65 seconds. 6.65. Slow and steady though wins the race. Watch us go down there and there will be like 17 hits. I am hoping for uh, at least 15. But uh, I'm pretty sure I missed about three there. And uh, That's pretty confident. <laughs> I, I missed at least three. Yeah, I think I, I think I probably got 20. But you know, there, there's one. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty no, sure no, no. The rotation I, of the I'm earth for 15, was... I'm but I missed at least three. I can tell. I didn't compensate for the Coriolis but, uh, effect. And uh, the earth rotated. And the target was in the same <laughs> position it was before. But I have to admit, it was actually quite difficult for me to, to hold it um, at least steady on one place for a long time. What was the hardest position? Uh, most like I, I would say definitely standing was the hardest position yeah. for me. Um, I'm not like I said, I don't see a lot. So now here's the bigger debate: what was harder, kneeling or sitting? Definitely kneeling. Okay, yeah, that's why I'd agree with too. Yeah. Basically, the less planted you are on the ground, the less stable you are. It's my yes. Findings. Yeah. The prone was by far the most easiest one to do. That's so. one thing I like about this challenge too is you see that in the footage of. It, the, the 
the um, succession of the fire, if that's the right wording, the, the, the time between the shots changes with the comfort of the position. So you'll notice like a person yes. might take a long time in, in full standing and then in prone, they're literally popping off around every second, like pop, pop, pop. So that's really fascinating to watch. All right, let's see what you got. Just walk down there. Watch out for the cow dung. I'm pretty sure that's horse shit. Ah, whatever that is. <laughs> Don't step in it either way. What the heck? What the heck? There's no hits. None no. at all. <laughs> okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten hits. I think that's a lot. percent. That's a lot. Ten hits. I think so. We'll go ahead and count them again. Let's get a good yeah. shot of it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not bad for somebody who's a rookie. Well, you literally took a few warm-up shots at the clay pigeons on the ground here and in the different positions. Like what you shot maybe 25 rounds. Hey, and then I'm boom. happy with that. That's a lot better than last year. Yeah, we'll put in what you scored last year. But uh, yeah, like I said, kind of like what I said at the ending of the last year's video too, practice makes perfect. Very good. Okay, so as you guys can see here, here's my paper target. Uh, based on the results, I my total time was 125.15 seconds. I had 10 hits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and then one on the corner here, 10. Uh, and that uh, brought me up to a total score of 39.95. Uh, this year, I felt like I did a lot better. Uh, I was more comfortable. Um, my target didn't move. And um, I felt like I did, of course. <laughs> Based on the uh, based on the score comparison from last year, I saw a twenty almost a, a twenty point increase. It's not exactly twenty, but it's it's about eighteen or nineteen, I think. But I almost did twice as good this year as I did last year. Last year, uh, quite a few things uh, happened that was unplanned. The uh, one is the target moved on me, and the target was sideways like this, and it was very hard to shoot the target. So that made it very difficult for me this year. This didn't happen, so <laughs> I did a lot better by shooting at the actual full target instead of just hey, a ahead, sideways view of it. Um, because we ran out of paper targets uh, when we did the challenge, uh, Murray had extra targets printed off but they were bigger so I had to measure I had to find the uh, the the 8 inch ring around it and I had to trim it out to make sure that it was the proper size so I just used one of those exacto knife and I just trimmed around the edges this is the 8 inch uh, ring printed on the target so I just cut it out on the outside of that ring and just to make sure that it is 8 inches I brought this little uh, measuring tape and I'm just putting it on the edge there and right through the middle on that line I measure eight inches to the other side and then uh, just to make sure the top is also eight inches top to bottom I uh, will put it right on that and bottom edge down there and sure enough we're, me we're measuring eight inches so this is a perfectly round eight inch square target bought from, uh, I don't know where he buys this stuff, but uh, it's 8 inches, I had it stapled to the cardboard, and uh, this is, yeah, this is the results. So if you guys were wondering what all that noise was, it's these guys, there's a whole bunch of them, just like uh, over here. And they're having a party, I guess. <laughs> what a beautiful thing to see.